Hi, I'm Tom Barry. I'm a foreman here at the William T. Spader Company. Uh, I've been doing plumbing about 20 years. Right now, I'm at the Venango Multimodal Building. This is a bus garage in all a sense, a little smaller than the one in Erie, PA that we did. And we are doing this one here in Venango. We are in the underground portion of this project. We've done all the piping. Um, now we are setting trench drains. To my side here, we have one trench drain that's being built right now as we go. And then over here, we have one that's finished. The trench drains all drain the water from one end all the way to the other through this pipe right here. Now this pipe right here is another trench drain that's gonna be built 50 foot that way. And this one goes 50 foot this way. And there's six of them in total that will drain all the water off this floor if there were, uh, they hose down buses or anything else. So we take these all thread rods and we drive them into the ground and then there's adjustable set screws on the side here so we can level this to the finished floor grade that we want it at. Then we pour concrete underneath it in spots to support it as we go. So all of these, all these trench drains are built off of the model. As long as our pipes are coming up on the ends where they're supposed to be, then we know that the trench drains are in the right spot that they're supposed to be. And, due, and with the technology we have and the other equipment we've used, we've determined that these pipes are in the right spot by doing our scans and other stuff that we can do to determine that it's right where it needs to be. This is the first time I've used the Tremble Total Station for an underground project. What that does is I can set up a tripod in here and I can shoot the entire job site with laser and then I can go through with my prism and check every pipe as to where it needs to be to make sure everything is in the right spot. We do not have a tremble system here right now, which I did when I did the underground. But now we just have a standard uh, laser level that we use to shoot our finished grade for our trench drains. We use a story pole with a regular standard laser on it to shoot our grade to make sure we are right where we need to be. Even though we use lasers and we use the total station, we still also have to use older technologies such as string and boards to make sure that what we're putting in is nice and straight. What I do here is pound a rod into the ground here a certain distance off of the wall, then I pound a rod down on the end a certain distance, same distance off the wall, and then put a string tight between the two of them. That's a straight line right there, and as long as my trench drain is in line with that, then I have a nice straight trench drain the whole way. I can just look down and visually see that I'm underneath this string, rather than having to measure every time as we go. Because as you can see, these trench drains come in pieces. It's 56 foot of trench drain, and the biggest piece we have is eight foot long. So we have to assemble all these together and keep them straight. And a string line helps us keep them all straight so it looks good when we're done. On the other side of the building, this is where we have our bus maintenance and our bus wash. Over here we have more trench drains that are already in and installed and ready to go. This area is actually going to be a bus maintenance area where there's going to be hose reels with different kinds of bus fluids. And then over here being built right now is a bus wash. These are string lines from the electrician for the stuff that he's building because the electricians did not use a total station on this project. But over here is where the, the bays are going to be for a bus wash. So much like a regular car wash, this project has a bus wash, which is just a much bigger size, uh, touchless car wash, just like a regular car wash. After I'm done with the trench drains, I will be moving to the roof drains for the rainwater system. All of that gets run together and goes outside to the catch basins. 
Then we're going to do different types of water, potable water and non-potable water. There's also a lube system where there's a bunch of, there's a, a large variety of other kinds of uh, liquids that go through these lube piping. Final process of this will be setting fixtures, which as you can tell, we're a ways away from setting fixtures. 